What is up, you awesome Kisters and Sister Reactor guys? Today we're reacting to the Walton Files 2 Relocate Project. So let's get right into it. We're active out here, nephew. We're watching Walton Files. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Feel so at home. Accompanied by Cyberfun Tech 1978? Oh boy, I sure do love Hello. my scary electronic VHS. And, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided legal to use our backup plan, which we created after we the tragic Felix? closure of Bonds Burgers Jack back Walton. on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you, the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's With the start scariest robot? The relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage I like the FNAF uh, cutscenes here, or the mini games. Later on, a good amount of so I guess they took Walton with them. Appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restoring the robots of the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose Founder. of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Oh, hell no, I just seen his face in the screen. Oh, hell no. Reprogramming phase. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna assume this soul in the tape. I seen those eyes open at first. Danny? The mouth is pre-relocate feature. However, dang, they going super. They going super fast. Any eye socket? They going super fast, like they don't want you to see it. Annoyed, bored. Oh no, bro. Am I gonna see like an emotion? Like I don't know, scared, trapped. Surprised. Hey, don't look, don't look, don't look at me, bro. Don't look at me. I don't want what you are selling, buddy. Looking for friends, customers. God damn it. Why? Shit. The mighty rabbit tries to find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out or at least catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs You ain't gonna get out. The mighty rabbit needs I don't know who put y'all in there, but y'all ain't getting out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. The rabbit is starving. 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 Oh, they eat people? The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is 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 Why? He 
Yeah, I was expecting it. That thing was human flesh. Missing. Susan? Hell no, nah, bro. Nah, uh Bunny farm. Oh no, not the sheep. That thing is terrifying. Bunny smiles, technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile storage facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always you. wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most so is guy purple, isn't it? You must always under any circumstance use your BSIID card. Oh snap! Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think, do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Sweet! Let's check the items you will require backpack, for your job backpack. at K9. Lantern? Check. Snacks? Check. Key? Check. Camera? Check. I, I, oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I, I, I was not taking anything. Wow. I promise. That is here. all you. you. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the. I thought she was about to be like, turn on the fucking light. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. And this you room, don't want to be like that purple bunny. Rest. Talk with coworkers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. I don't I don't like the silence, man. They got me thinking someone's gonna kill me. Alright, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers. I looked down for a second. In my the timer. second door is used to save a kind of prizes. What was in the first in front door? Of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a What's behind the third Burgers. door? The third door is used to hide. So there's bodies in the third door. Got you. Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. I'm only slacked behind for two seconds. Chill out, homie. Now let's move on to the next room. Okay. Why'd I say okay? It forgot its annual second jump scare. Or every three second jump scare. So we could backstage as the voice told her to missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Okay, so we got three dead people inside suits now. You, you were beautiful. You were beautiful. You were beautiful. Damn! Chopped her up! And then they just put her in there? Yep. <laughs> When she woke up, she looked beautiful. 
but on the inside. Okay, so who the hell put them in the suits? Some good old Five Nights at Freddy's horror. Just dump someone in the suit and make a series. I cannot see that name. I'm not even going to try. Last name I seen was Susan. The following footage was recorded during July 1978 on which three bunny technicians volunteered to stay three days at the VSI stores facility for the purpose of reprogramming the animatronics in order to execute the relocation project. The employees to the left are... Wait. Hillary, Ashley, and Kevin. I thought one of them was in the suit. Oh, no, but, um, the place oh my god. Man? You, you about to be massive. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the other soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point that's the point of this whole project, right? I, mean, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, don't you think? Yes, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey Kevin, I thought we can add the blink and eyes feature on this one. I thought it's a really damage. I'm also if someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? Well, the place goes down. So the Watson Files has got to have a game, right? How to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Sleeping there is wild, I'm not gonna lie to you. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You were just overlooking stuff. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly. It has to be for something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, running out of time. We should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello. This will probably be the last party of today before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news. Your programming phase was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, ton of damaged parts in the end of the the models made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, re re relocation project. Oh, there we go. Subtitles now. I couldn't. I couldn't really hear them. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I am using the camera because I am planning to buy Mary with a ski new suit. I'm sure whatever this ski hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. You gonna die? You exploring too much. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They have back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek. See if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Yeah, simple. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this place is bigger than I thought. I don't think I have room to tell, so I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms. Wait, am I gonna find out what's behind the third door? door? Uh, this is open. Scraps. Anyway, canine. Need to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some onion skin with traps, I guess. I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and. Uh, Number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, as you can see here, there are some uh, 
spare head? Nothing I just seen to be on. <laughs> Wasn't three. A dog? Yeah. How many knew what robots they got? I can't really tell this. Ain't no dog, it's a bunny. Coming, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> I hate People that clown. I am, I've never seen this clown thing before. Really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Come down there with you, um, man. I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has cassette. Like, oh, because the clown, called. okay. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties, like, you know, playing I didn't peep that at first as a player. I don't know. But we're about to find out. I'm surprised she got close to it without it snapping her neck. So it's time to run. It's time to go. It's, it's time to go. It's time to go. Run. Run. Jack, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Those are the names. I heard of Susan, didn't I? Oh, shit. Yup. Gone. Oh, that's... Try to tell her to run. Them dumbasses never listen. Why do they always go into the room with the most scariest shit and stand there for eight years? And then they say, I'm feeling a little uneasy. Then they turn around, they die, scream at the top of their damn lungs, and nobody hears them. And the next thing you know, they're inside of a clown. I hate everything, bro. I do. That was Walton Files 2. If y'all want to see more, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more to come kiss her today, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.